well, what a beautiful day it turned out to be. So Sunday I went up to um, Blacktown to check out Rare Spare's new store and they're celebrating their 50th anniversary this year and as part of that, um, the Michelle up at the, uh, the manager up at the Blacktown store wanted to put on a car show and I think um, they'd be very happy with what they've been able to do because the amount of people that turned up was exceptional and it was really good to get a first hand look through the store. You can see here I like the way it's laid out, it's a bit like going to Coles, you can actually go through and find what you want, put it in the basket and head over to the checkout. And I'm sure there's more parts out the back but incredible amount of um, parts out on display and they're all bagged up and packaged and everything's nicely priced, you can see what the quality is and I must admit that um, they need a pat on the back because their products are definitely improving all the time. And the quality of the chrome, I've used some of those bumpers on um, some of our builds. And all of these panels, I often see it now where this is the new improved version and I think it's good that they're doing that. You know, there's still some products that probably need a bit of work, but um, yeah, incredible range. And you can see here some of the, uh, the Commodore range is growing all the time and all of the stuff for the Falcons as well. I think, um, you know, we're probably about 40% of the products now are, are Ford versus the Holden. And it'll be interesting to see where the new company takes it. So outside now, so we'll check out some of the cars and it was pretty cool that they had some actual race cars, some old race cars there. You know, quite often they're not the full Monty, if you like, but um, these first two were genuine race cars. It's always nice to get a close look at some of those things. And I've got to admit I'm a bit taken with the, uh, the Green's Tough, we'll get up to that in a minute, but I like the way people are now sort of doing a, a version of those race cars to use on the street. I think it's a cool thing and they look really good. Brings back some memories for me, some of these cars. I remember back in the day when Dickie was racing those that I was a member of the, the fan club and continue to follow supercars. Just a stunning looking car that. I don't see too many green race cars. And the old HQ race, I think they could be accused of taking a lot of those four doors off the road. <laughs> they rode a few of those off in the day. And a super nice GT police car there on display. So the new store up in Blacktown. And it's a really nice place to have a car show because good sized car park and um, really well maintained. Lots of hedges and a few carpets and a bit of greenery in the middle which was nice to see and I was a bit taken by the variety of cars so something for everybody uh, obviously a lot of drivers being a, a cruise in on a Sunday morning get an egg and bacon roll off the boys from the, um, the men's shed or we'll grab a coffee I've seen some of these um, Two buckets at um, the Nationals back at Easter time. If you're into the, the hot rod side of things, go and have a look on the um, in our channel there. You'll find there's a, a full coverage of all of the hot rods up at the Nationals. It was held up at Windsor. So there's quite a, a range of cars. And I'm going to try and run through all of them and include some of those with out, parked out the back in the, um, in the car park. So all the shops were still open, so this is early, this is a, probably a bit after 8 o'clock. And I was surprised because I was, I was sort of left home at, at 6.30 in the morning, get up there by 8 because it was an 8 o'clock start and the place was already packed. So you can see the long shadow there, still pretty early. Looks like I'm a bit lost here, I'm working out where I'm going to go. So I tried to, to not miss any cars, so up and down the rows.
So we'll run through all of these and then when we get close to the end uh, you'll see some of the cars leaving the event with a few of them um, in motion which is nice. Very tough sounding Capri, you'll hear that um, when it leaves. So I think the whole cars and coffee thing's been um, a good thing for our sport. I mean, it's an opportunity to get your car out early on a Sunday, catch up with a few people, have a bit of a yarn and be home by lunch. Now these were some of the, um, the guys that entered the, or guys and girls that entered the show. Um, they were sort of pretty packed in. There was quite a few of this year's um, top 60 cars from Summonats. There was at least one past Grand Champion, which you'll catch up with shortly. It was a beautiful sunny day. Not too hot, but um, yeah, nice day. So a couple of cars here from ground level. Or a Sydney um, panel and paint shop. That's Simon there in the middle. So a nice wild violet. XA running the 302, that's good to see with the uh, standard air cleaner and all on it. And the next couple of cars here are from Hoon's Customs, what we're going to go the other way, so tough little streeter. So these two cars are from Hoon Customs, at the Sydney shop. So the XB has been around for some time now and this is the new build. So that was once again an unveil car from Summonats. Nice to see it out. set of wheels tucked under that one. Blower up the front might be the reasoning for behind that. Going to do a little bit of turning around to get around the people. Even though it was early there was plenty of people there. So Mansueto's big block, the XW, past Grand Champion car. We just cruised out at the end of the day. And I filmed this car up to a um, couple of times at the Hot Rod Show, the Sydney Hot Rod Show. So if you want to see that fully on display, um, it's a couple of episodes that we ran from May last year that you'll see um, under the Lovells collection and um, the King XY. So it was people's choice probably four or five years ago now at Summonats. Another outstanding car. And then this little six cylinder Toronto with a blower hanging off it. I actually interviewed him um, at Summonats and that's on our Summonats street version that went up about a month ago. If you want to hear a bit more about that car and how long it's been built and who did the engine, it's all in that interview. Of course, the Young Street Machine of the Year winner, his little Angular. So 
So the manager up there is, um, that runs the, the rear spare store knows a fair bit about what she's doing. This is her car, so not only is she a manager of the store, she's also a, um, a full-on supporter of what we do and um, been in the top 60 many times, that car, beautiful build. So it was a good family day out. They had um, some free raffles, which I thought was a good idea. They gave away a whole lot of Maguire's product. Um, handing out tickets to everybody, just had hanging around and wait for presentations, which I thought was a nice idea. So there was a quite a lot of um, New builds and a lot of older style cars that have been around I've seen a few times but it's nice to see them out in the sunlight. Like I love my indoor shows but it's cool to see some of those cars that you only ever see indoors to actually out in the full sun and get a full appreciation of what they look like on the street. Beautiful restoration on that one. Now check out the colour combo on the engine on this. I think um, it really does work well. Very nice to restore Monaro. Beautiful red pickup there, left hand drive, got the big blower on it. I always say it, but it's hard to beat a red hot rod, eh? So, a drag challenge car. We should see that at drag challenge this year. So, that's the current um, summon at Street Elite, no, not Elite, Street Judged winner from this year from the Hay Stable. And then this car here. I think I may have seen it before at um, the Hot Rod Show, but really well presented. I was standing next to it when they were doing the presentation, so I got to have a bit closer look than I'd normally would. Beautifully finished body and paint, and that car ended up taking out the, the car of the day, and they were all selected by the sponsors. It wasn't a judge show, it was just the people that sponsored the event got to pick the cars they liked, and it was probably a worthy winner, I thought. So a row of Monaro's by the look of it. No oh, Hornet's good, I haven't seen one of them for a while. So Owen Webb was there as well, a chance to catch up with him. Owen's doing a, a, an XY panel van. Um, we're having a bit of a chat about that because obviously I'm doing a, an XC panel van and um, we're just having a bit of a chat about it. He said to me, you're not doing it full Alita, I said, no, mate, I don't want to drive it. And he goes, yep, me too. So you'll see a couple of oldies turning up. The old car show in their panel vans. So 
But like I was saying, the food was done by um, the men's shed. And if you're getting on in age and you're getting a bit bored around the place, check out your local um, your council, I would think, that um, there's an opportunity to catch up with people that are a bit handy that like to get out in the men's shed, spend a bit of time tinkering around and get out of the house. So this um, Pro A9X, it was a piece of work. Had um, plenty going on the engine bay and some decent wheels under it. I'm just waiting for a few guys to move out the way here, I think. We'll go back there in a minute. No, I know I did a reel on that, so you'll be able to see a bit more of that um, in the short version. So check out the wheel size on this thing and beautiful engine bay, very open, but with the size of those um, front tubs, I'm sure that it wouldn't get much water in there. So left hand drive on the bags. Nice piece of work. So a couple of um, hard tops, coupes. So this first one's um, Dave, Dave Ricardo. So Dave um, was one of the main people involved with the GT Nationals this year that ran at Easter time. And I took the opportunity to go up and film that. And I'd met Dave a couple of times and he did me the honor to come down and help me actually do the video voiceover for that one and that was um, earlier this year so you could check that out if you're into your Falcon GTs and your coupes um, there's 450 odd cars there and having Dave on board enabled us to talk about a whole lot of things including all of that concourse stuff and who own what cars and where they come from it's a really good um, hour or so of video on um, those wonderful Falcon GTs Nice Harley, check out the paintwork on this. I don't know if you'll get it in the camera. It's got quite a lot going on that's um, two or three tones, that green. So I'm trying to go up and down the rows here without getting lost and missing any cars. Used to be one of those Monaros kicking around in Broken Hill when they were fairly new. Broken Hill had a lot of um, those limited edition cars, Falcon um, Phase 1, 2s and 3s and all the Monaros. Being a mining town there was always plenty of money and everybody had a nice car so we probably had more than our fair share of all of those specialty type vehicles over the years and that probably applies today as well. So as per usual with most of these shows there was um, music playing pretty much the whole day so fairly difficult for me to um, have a chat to people because of that with copyright and stuff so that's why you've got me chatting over the music at the moment and I really wanted to get it up straight away so it's just me today on a Monday, Louise has put this together this morning for me. So many nice cars. I think this one of Chubby's creations. I see Chubb wandering around, putting a few photos up on Facebook as well this morning. He gets to his um, probably more car shows than I do.
thought that was interesting. That was an original um, yellow and black number plate with the Ute 003 on it. I was wondering whether it was the original plate off that car because um, it had the patina and all. It was obviously a, a unique um, order back a long time ago and someone's probably been paying New South Wales government a few bucks for a lot of years to keep it nice subtle four door not so subtle Commodore got a fair bit happening I like the wheels on this um, the wagon and sort of suited a, you know a bigger size but in a um, similar style to the originals I thought it was a nice look so this um, this ute was pretty tough when it left it's obviously a very solid engine in that Sort of took me back a bit. It was pretty um, period correct with the STP stickers and all on the Foxtail. It's a little bit like um, when I was a kid in Broken Hill, this was the sort of stuff that was kicking around that was a modified car. My brother in law Keith Hall, he had um, cars of that era. Pretty sure he had an FB or an EK. Lovell's GVM upgrades offer one of the best suspension upgrade solutions for serious load carrying, towing and off-road adventures. Find the nearest Lovell store to you at lovellsauto.com.au Now another run of cars, so it's like one row after the other. So interesting use of wheels on that Green Falcon coming up in a minute. I'll talk about that in a second. There's a few people around here at the moment trying to make um, life a bit difficult for Howard, but we'll get there. There's a few Sandmans about now. Another nice two-door Falcon. I couldn't get in here to get a look. I think I'll go around the other side in a minute. So back to that XY. You can see it's got the chasers on it, some fairly wide ones on the back. Just thought that was an interesting use of wheels. I hadn't seen that done before. Four twenty seven number plate. Very nicely restored car, that one. 
And the ugly duckling of the Ford, I actually have one of these. I like the look of these, but not many people did. And you don't see too many out and about. I guess one day they might become a bit more popular. There was quite a, a few of them at the GT Nationals, but um, you don't see too many at the local show. Now is that for a variation of cars, an EH and a late model Mustang, a Datsun, chuck in a few Tiranas. Plenty of rubber under that one. A9X, nicely restored. I've already said it I think, but it was a really good venue. I mean, I just had a good feel about it. And with a few trees and a few palms and stuff, there was a bit of shade. It wasn't like that sort of full on hot car park type of feel. It was a, a very good feel about the whole deal. So this is heading out the back more in the car park area, but um, obviously a few guys that had all turned up together. A couple of patinaed cars. I like the use of the, the globes on that Cortina, look pretty cool. Just nice to see some of these cars getting out, getting a bit of use. H here looks like it comes straight out of the paddock. It's got um, lower with some suspension and stuff on it. I've seen this um, XP a couple of times. It sits really nice. I like the colour, I like the wheel combos. Just a nice looking car. Now this FJ is unusual, it was an army spec. He actually had the canvas down and a few mirrors underneath, so he's obviously out for the day. And the one Cobra. Said eights and tens under it by the look of it. Had a bit of a chuckle to myself with the Ute here. I used to work at the Ford dealer, but I was driving an XA parts car that was painted up like that. I think that was all the go back then. Argent Motors in Broken Hill. 
the old six cylinder three on the tree manual. Cortina getting a bit of attention there. So a guy pulled me up here and we had a bit of a yarn, watches the channel and stuff. If you see me filming, just sort of make yourself known and when I get finished on a particular row of cars or whatever, I'll turn the camera off and have a chat. Normally gives the arm a break in here. Don't be shy to come up and say hello. So there's enough cars there that it took me about an hour to do the first run through with the camera to get um, try and capture the majority of them and then I hang about and had a chat to a few people and went inside and checked out some of the parts in the rear spare store and then hung about and filmed a few cars leaving so you'll see some of those shortly I imagine because this is getting near the end of the car park side of things. I'm sure we'll see more events held at this venue because it was um, very good. Sixty-three Fairlane, eh? Just like the one we used to have. Pretty good looking F100 this thing as well. Big set of wheels under it. Blue Mini. Pretty mean looking FJ tucked in the corner there. So we're back around heading up towards the main area now. So a couple of V dubs, nice calm and gear. truck was going off and the ice cream man as well. So it was a good vibe so they, they ran the presentations, got through that fairly quickly which was um, good to see. People are a bit slow getting up. Please. You know where we are. If you need anything, rest bears, we can help you out. So thank you to the staff because they got smashed. So please, can everyone put a round of applause for the staff? 
So that sort of finished up at um, a bit after 11 and people started to sort of move away, head off to do whatever they're doing with the family on a Sunday. So I'll get, this is pretty much the last run of cars, I think. Another sand man, be interesting just to know how many Holden vans were made compared to Ford vans because there seem to be a lot of um, sand mans kicking around at the moment and it'd be interesting to know what sort of number differences there were. I know in my panel van days there was a lot more Holdens than there were Fords, that's for sure. Quite cool uh, to hear the difference between a, a stocker starting up and something with about 500 in it, or maybe a thousand. The, uh, the stark difference between something like that Monaro with a sound like a stock 308 starting up compared to something with um, six or eight hundred horsepower. put myself somewhere in the middle of all of that I'm looking to do you know about the 450 horsepower out of a pretty basic sort of Clevo with a holly on it a bit of compression and a nice can so it's got a nice sound about it without getting too carried away Super clean looking ute that one. Well, it was a good day out and I'm sure that um, if they have another one I'll head back up there again with the camera and it's good to catch up with people 
had a bit of a yarn, take in some nice cars, and obviously an opportunity to, to head through the shop at Rares and uh, pick up a few items. So if you like these sorts of shows, um, check out our playlist, there's a, a Lovells playlist for all these events that we go to and film. Try and do a bit of everything. We're heading down to Showcars Melbourne next weekend. It's a big one day event, it's both indoor and outdoor, so there'll be a lot of, lot of stuff coming from there. And then the, the week after that, I'll be heading out to Crookwell, which is just out from Goulburn, between basically Sydney and, um, and Canberra. And I'll be filming out there. It's just a really nice country show. They looked after me last time and thought I'd head back out and film that again. Just a good country feel. And then we'll be doing our normal stuff with the hot rod shows and Motor X. And really trying, trying to bring to you the way I like to see the events and um, the sort of cars I like to be involved in. Primarily the Elite and the top of the street cars. Go and shine and the door shows. So all original GT, they just re sprayed that in acrylic today. Just likes to get it out and use it, which is good. Once again, Louise has done an excellent job on the edit. She's had to chop up everything that I've filmed trying to get these cars. They all didn't leave like this, I can assure you. I had to hang about and get them as they went. She's put it together nicely. Well, that Tirana brings back memories of Mark Sanders' old Tirana from the 90s. The painted bumpers. I filmed that at the Hot Rod Show last year. Very nice car. Go past those wheels on that XT there, I like that look. Sound of a big horsepower engine. Man, Swedos XW. Talking to Simon, this is Simon from Brown Level. I was talking to him at Summon App. He's just saying he likes this thing, just get in and cruise it, have a good time, loves it. This car was unveiled at Summon App. 
is, um, I think, Simon's brother, actually, from ground level. Bit of a traffic jam. So I'm sitting in the ute at the moment because I've um, been waiting around for nearly an hour for a lot of these people to move. the way and you've been here all day and then someone finds you when you're about to leave. That wraps up another one so I hope you enjoyed that like I said if they have another one we'll definitely go back and check it out if you like what you're seeing go and check out all our other videos but subscribe click the like button if you've got any questions make sure you ask because I'm more than happy to reply I reply to every comment and question that comes up on the channel so thanks for joining us and bye for now